So with theater's presence, theater is metaphorical. Theater is also tragic. It's not redemptive. It's it's open. It's not closed. So um, I mean, theater can be something besides tragic. It can be comic. It can be redemptive as well. But we're going to look at the tragic notion of theater and theater does a very good job of presenting the idea of the tragic. Um, and so that's another reason that we're looking at it and what theater is good for. And finally, theater is dramatic. It's, it's not spectacular. So it's operating on an intimate inductive level, right? It's not a Hollywood film. It's not a, uh, Silicon Valley video game. Uh, it's not a, you know, virtual reality, a Google Earth type thing. So it's operating in a very sort of small level, which is, uh, you know, enacting the idea of the dramatic, not the spectacular. Okay. So those are just some, you know, basic elements that go into the idea of, of what theater is and how theater might distinguish itself from other art forms. A uh, very broad, but uh, just to get us into the conversation. Uh, let's get right to the text then. So why are we doing uh, ancient Greek theater, uh, specifically Aeschylus's Oristia, uh and part one of the trilogy, Agamemnon? Uh, so Aeschylus, or Greek theater, is, is, is one of the sources where theater comes from in our Western tradition. Um, and so... It has, you know, by going back to ancient Greek theater, we can see a lot of these uh, sort of origins and things as they're happening. So Aeschylus especially is highly theatrical uh, compared to even his contemporaries, his uh, younger contemporaries, uh, Ed uh, Sophocles, who wrote, for example, Oedipus, and, and Euripides, who wrote the Bacchae. Uh, so... It's highly theatrical because it's operating more with the idea of the chorus and less with the actors. Okay, so once you get actors on a stage and um, actors become the primary element on stage, then there becomes more of a drive for narrative and for characterization and then it goes into sort of traditional sort of storytelling and starts to get into realms of the epic, the novel, and other sort of, you know, storytelling conventions or genres that we know, uh, that we know well and use a lot.